We can actually actually ask another question first. That is, why perform bhakti? <laughs> uh, so, why do we perform bhakti? Is because this is the conclusion of scriptures. What should we do? What is the final goal in life? So, our acharyas such as Rupa and Sanatan and Jiva Goswami, uh, following the advice of Lord Chaitanya, have concluded that the final process, the ultimate process, and the most effective process of spiritual development is Bhakti Yoga. And uh, the deity to worship in Bhakti Yoga is Krishna. Uh, so the process we have to follow in worshiping Krishna, uh, one of those processes is deity worship. Of course, there are other processes also. So in Bhakti, in the Nectar of Devotion, we have uh, 64 methods or activities of bhakti such as hearing chanting sadhu sangha serving the dham serving tulsi devi serving the vaishnavas etc so we have many many items among them we have worshiping the deity uh, so bhakti is the process for everyone in kali yuga and uh, in that we have many many processes now we do know that sankirtan is the yuga dharma so this will always be the principal process. And every other process of bhakti or every other activity of bhakti that we do has to be accompanied by chanting the name of the Lord, chanting the name of Krishna. So we cannot ever forget uh, the uh, Sankirtan movement. But uh, usually it is recommended along with that that we do other processes. We cannot isolate Sankirtan by itself. I won't do Sankirtan and I won't do Sarasanga. I won't uh, do Didi worship. I won't hear the Bhagavatam. That becomes ridiculous. So Sankirtan is the main process, but we have other processes. So among the 64 processes, five are mentioned uh, by Rupa Goswami in the Nectar of Devotion as very uh, powerful to very quickly produce bhava, which means sadhana uh, can progress very quickly and lead to the stage of bhava. So the definition of sadhana bhakti is that it should result in bhava. Once we get to bhava, it is no longer sadhana. Bhava means we can actually perceive Krishna and establish our real relationship with Krishna. So everything before that is a preparation to see Krishna, have a vision of Krishna. So among those five important items, we have worshiping the deity with devotion. Uh, first having faith, and then with great affection, serving that Lord, the deity form. Uh, so in other words, though Sankirtan is the principal means, along with that, uh, we have the support of worshiping the deity. Why, is, why would that be important is that uh, we chant the name of the Lord and we're also taught that the name is not different from the Lord. The name is not different from the form of the Lord, the qualities of the Lord, and the pastimes of the Lord, and the rasa of the Lord. But for beginners, this may be a little difficult. They chant the name and then they'll wonder, who is Krishna? So, of course, we can solve that question by telling them to read scripture. So a person can read Bhagavad Gita and get a general idea of who Krishna is. He is the source of everything. We can read Bhagavatam and we will have more detailed descriptions of Krishna's form. He holds a flute, his complexion is dark blue, he has a dhoti that flashes like lightning, he has a forest garland, his smile is most attractive, his eyes are like lotuses, etc. So we can get a description that way. Still, uh, many people uh, will find, well, this is a literary description. <laughs> what does he actually look like? <laughs> so they want something visual. Uh, so therefore, the deity form will be a visual form that a person can write. So when he chants Hare Krishna, then he knows who Krishna is. Yes, that is that deity form that I see. Secondly, uh, we are taught to serve the Lord. Uh, but if we're just uh, serving the Lord through chanting Hare Krishna, many people will get a little frustrated because their senses are very active. They can't just think of the Lord and chant his name and hear. They want to do other things. So the deity also provides a means of serving the Lord. This is one of the main purposes, to engage the senses. So along with the chanting process, which is the main process, if we do uh, worship of the Supreme Lord, uh, we have a very practical means of engaging all of our senses uh, in uh, 
serving Krishna, who has an actual form. So this is the great blessing, a great mercy of the Lord that he agrees to enter into that deity form and appear before us, even we're not qualified, because our real qualification for seeing Krishna is in Baba's stage. And at this moment we are in sadhana stage. But nevertheless, the Lord agrees to appear in this deity form by his great mercy and we can directly serve him. Uh, so deity worship therefore becomes very, very important for us. Uh, we chant, do this deity worship along with our uh, chanting of the holy name.